see Dan Bienares, who was a shooter, and, uh, a national shooter, in fact. Uh, and it's nice to see uh, Commissioner Kim and her husband, Dito sa PBA. Speaking of the BIR, malapit na April 15. No. Maalala po sa lahat. We got a deadline. Ng tamang tax return. Eh, eh, kanina, nabanggit nga ni Risa, no, na ang collector dito ng Barangay Nebra is si Vernon Macklin because he's the one who wants to collect on a debt. Eh, pagka si Macklin ang naningil sa'yo, baka kahit hindi mo utang, bayaran mo. <laughs> Ito na po, sir. So yes. As Mac Barangayel buries that three, Nice start para sa Enebra to open the second quarter. Kasama niya sa si Sexy na Ellis, Macklin, Raymundo, and Labagala. Binabantayan niya yung si Natos, Azul, Ontiveros, Ramos, and Abueva. Ramos is in trouble. Natapak na doon sa baseline. So good job defensively there by Barangay Enebra. You see a little bit of fire back now with Barangay Enebra on those back-to-back -back shots. Galing kay Mac Barakael. 30-21 is the score. Ginebra down by nine. Barakel for another one. Not that time around. Raimundo! Kirby Raimundo Making getting sure. up there! Making sure with a slam dunk, Kirby Raimundo. He's enjoying it. What an explosion. And now... From Barakel Kirby Raimundo. When was the last time you saw that, Kinito? I don't know. It's been a while. But Kirby Raimundo, emphatic slam dunk. Siya nakakuha dito ng offensive rebound. Magpapakbakan din si na Mark Mugen Striegel at Yusuke Yachi. Sa May 18 po yan, alas 7 ng gabi sa Inari Sports Arena. At alas 9 ng gabi, mapapanood via satellite. Dito lang sa active. Available na pa mga tickets sa SM Tickets at Ticket World. Risa, ano ang kwento mo dyan? Magawala mo ba bukod sa dedikasyon at disiplina ng mga manlalaro, may isa pa silang sekreto kung bakit on fire itong momentum ng Barangay Hinebra. Every game day or practice bago ang laro, kumakain sila ng pansit. At si Coach Al Francisco mismo, yung bumili ng pansit sa kanila kahapon. Ang sabi ni Coach Al, para sa kanya, ang pansit, hindi na lang for long life, for long winning streak na rin. Magu? Aba? Okay pala ang pansit, ano? Sa kayang... Pansiteria ang kinukuha, kinukuha na nila ng pansit. Dapat maputahan. Maganda sugli yun. Ang dami nito. Alalaki oh. pang atleta. Kurado, malakas ang kita. Ito, just one shot coming from Alaska. No offensive rebound. So it looks like Barangay Nebra went to the drawing boards. They decided, hey, let's start protecting that glass. Making sure that they get the defensive rebounds. Ellis will miss. 37 remaining sa ating first half. Casio nagbalik na. Tenorio nasa bench pa. Casio to Dozier. Taking the contact. Oh, yes. Getting the basket. And will shoot the line. A lot of spacing that time. Although there was contact. But you notice it was a one-on-one -on -one situation. Watch it right here. Dozier. Pumped there by Kirby Raimundo. And it was not Macklin. So those here, no regard for the defense ni uh, Kirby Raimundo. That breaks the 9 to nothing run ng Barangay Nebra, bridging the first and second quarters. 33-25, balik sa balo ang abante ng Alaska. Labagala may tanga ng bola. Macklin asking for it. Now it gets there. Macklin at the post contra kay Thos. Macklin spins baseline. Nando dun pa si Dozier. Sumakay ka pa. Huwag ka lang malikot. And that's a quick spin move. Coming from the guy who used to play for the University of Florida. What a spin move coming from Macklin. That's the way you take away the defense of Alaska, oh. especially in the double team. Kasha running into trouble. Dozier over to De La Cruz. Babalik De La Cruz. Dozier, kasama pang foul. You know, I can't believe the way... Beat back to back by Dozier. Pinalita na muna siya ni Coach Alchua. Nadja dyan sa sayag si Yusuf Taha. Obviously, the guy's getting away. And they're leaving that lane wide open for just one man against Dozier. And Dozier is just bulldozing his way inside. Malik sa siyang mga bante dito ng Alaska. Macklin spinning into traffic. Puts it up. No. Rebound battle mananatili sa Inebra. Last three games of Barangay Inebra, Macklin has scored at least 31 points. Those last three games, hindi nakalaro si Mark Kagiwa. And so you know that Macklin has had to increase his firepower potential because Kadiva has played only once in the last five games, or rather the last six games. 
of Barangay in Ebra. Pero with Billy Mamaril out, Coach Alchua, humuhugot ng malalim mula sa kanyang bench. That's right, the rotation now has to deepen. Two weeks now out, ano, as Abueva will miss. Dozier gets blocked. Espinas is in trouble. Taha takes it away. Two weeks out now in Billy Mamaril, so that means that might be after the quarters pa kung magkakabalik itong si Billy Mams. That's right. Because the last, be of, the last game of Inebra is this Sunday sa elimination round. Actually, yan ang optimistic schedule. Two weeks, no? Because ang sabi sa akin ni Coach Chua, baka three to four weeks pa. Mabigat yan, naiintayin ang barangay Inebra as Gabby Espinas capitalizes underneath. Balik sa sampu ang abante ng Alaska. You know, Vernon Maglin has yet to assert himself defensively sa laro. No? Alaska getting away with a lot of shots from the inside. He never needs a shot blocking ability of Macklin. Those years have also been able to score from the inside. Tenorio Tolabagala from the corner. No, Dozier for the board. Pangwalong riban nyan para dito kay Robert. May git pitong minuto pa natin dito sa ating first half. Dozier with some space gets it to Espinas. Tenorio looking for the charge. Abueva wala. De La Cruz bitin pa rin. And somehow Tenorio ends up with a rebound. LA stepping on the brakes. Now gets it down low. Labagala na ipit. Tenorio saves it over to Jensen. Robbie has Dozier to beat. Trying to use his quickness. Labagala di luwala na ring. Pero lato lang si Macklin to claim it up. Nico Halili would have been going nuts inside the studio right now kung naipasok ni Little Rob yun. Unbelievable. Yung puso ni Rob Labagala. He challenged the defense of none other than Rob Dozier. And that's the reason why Macklin was able to get the offensive rebound. Dozier's defense was concentrated on Labagala. Labagala takes it away. Three on one pass break. Three on two. As this game goes along. Well, right now, si Dozier has been outscoring Macklin, the tune of 12 to 8. At tapa, pakiata dun sa outside. Si uh, L.A. Tenorio. Here's a turnover against uh, Barangay Nebra. That Alaska defense is unforgiving. Casho looking to work against Labagala. Abueva will meet the pass, top of the key. Anja Jensi Jensen giving him the space. Inahanap nila etong si Espinas, Meyerhofer. Parang linta na nakadikit dito kay Gabi. Espinas looking to use his strength. Abueva has two to work with. Leans in. Goes class for the two points. Abueva getting the pass from Espinas on the spin move. That curl move is stop to stop because he's fading away. Defense wasn't able to stop the tyranny of Abueva. Binabanggit mo turnovers. Kinito, kita mo naman. Alaska now with a dozen points off turnovers making Inebra pay. And little Robbie gets the 19-foot jumper. A lot of players from Coach Al Francis Chua's bench answering the call. Kirby Raimundo, Labagala, bench points being provided here. But a lot of players. Dozier underneath. Papal ng ring. Tenorio looks to settle things down. Mahigit limang minuto na lang natitira sa ating first half. Tenorio lines it up. No go. Taha. Wala sa timing yung kanyang lundag. Abueva to Azul. Casio nakita si Espinas, nakatalikod si Meyerhofer. That's a basket. Kanyang katawan, makuha lang. Itong pagkapanalo na to, ang katapat lang daw niyan. Isang drum ng yelo pagkatapos ang laro. Magu? Ayan. Talagang handang-handa na siyang manakit ang kanyang katawan dito. Buti kung isang drum lang ng yelo. E meron pa mga paint kilo na kailangan niya. Ayan. Earlier on in the game, Espinas already got it. Getting under the skin of Vima. As Tenorio gets his own board. Jensen for three. No go. Azul now una si Abueva. Calvin will be games ng uh, Alaska. Both of which the A's has won. Ang average niya was only 7 points. So he doesn't need to score big numbers for Alaska to win. He's happy just contributing in so many different ways. Rebounding palaging nandiyan. He is the leading local rebounder ng ating Commissioner's Cup. Close to 9 boards per ball game. Labagala contra dito kay Casio. Looking for Taha. Jensen puts it on the floor, looking to get it back to Labagala. Casho runs out of space. Back para kay nagbabalik na para dito naman si Jensen. Hindi lang small lineup ang ginagamit dito ni Coach Francis Chua, kundi tiny lineup. 
Labagala and Tenorio Ooh. playing together. And eh, okay lang naman. Nandun to naman si Vernon Macklin to clean things up. And for Vernon Macklin, I think he gets better opportunities to score in situations like that. Rather than he is the focal point of the offense where he is looking for his shot, he's now looking to clean up the boards, allowing the small guys to penetrate. Espinas on the move. Too many easy shots by Alaska from inside the painted area. Again, yung punto sinasabi natin. Macklin has to assert himself defensively. Right now, he does not have a single block shot in this game. So you need the shot blockers to come out and step up. Macklin power move. Trying to mug Tomas. Macho Ganado. Pareho para dito kay Macho Ganado. 12 pa rin ang kailangan bunuin dito ng Ginebra. The largest lead of the game was 14 by Alaska. Abueva punches it through. At ganun-ganun lang, kinchi na ang abante ng Alaska. What a nice stroke coming from Calvin Abueva. Ito ang sinasabi natin kanina about Palangay Ginebra. You need to mark the danger zones. You know that Alaska is a good three-point shooting team, so that is a danger zone you need to mark. This Wednesday night inside the Big Dome. Well, at the moment, 15,133. And counting pa yan, ha? Yeah. Kasi meron pang dumarating. Nakikita ko. Late, sa mga entrance, oh. Parang kayo never. Down by 15. Lapagala. In traffic is swatted away. Well, One called, second that he does a shot. Oh, you call that penetrating the land of the Giants. Tenorio from the baseline. Catch and shoot. They gotta go quick. Alus hindi ko malaw ang ating orasan. So millisecond lang yun abawas don. Macklin releases. Couldn't bail him out. 49-34. The Alaska Aces up by 15. Casio metangan kasama si Natos, Ontiveros, Espinas, and Abueva. JV will miss. Hatfield clears it. Tenorio looks up. Si Macklin lang ang kasabay niya tumakbo dito. Barakael to Hatfield. Nandun din si Labagala clearing away. Macklin down low to Hatfield. Macklin, Macklin finally looking for someone to pass to. Rather than taking it all by himself, doing it all by himself. Nakita naman natin, no, dalawa, tatlo, tatlo. Ang dumay depensa kay Macklin, so he's got to give up the ball. Someone's bound to be open. Abueva down on the floor. Monteveros in and out. Ginebra looking to capitalize. Less than two minutes bago tayo bumalik sa studio as Barakael is connected with by Lamagala. Magu, very memorable nga kay Barakael yung pagkakabigay sa kanya ng best player of the game na kanilang huling laban. Sabi niya kasi sa kauna-unang pagkakataon simula ng na-draft siya noong 2011, yun ang una niyang best player award. And he's more motivated tonight dahil nga ang kalaban ay dati niyang kupunan. Magu? Thank you, Riza. Montiveros, best player din niya ng Alaska sa kanilang huling laban. Abueva above everybody. Hindi nga lang umubre ang kanyang putback. Hatfield makes sure, gets it out to Barakael. Kalibre 45 to Macklin. Sobra lang yung kanyang pasa. Oh. Well, they wanted to try something spectacular. At that time, hindi umubra. But okay lang. No? For something like that, it's still the first uh, half. You try to gamble with a spectacular play. You, wanna, you don't want to do that, however. Take that kind of a risk with the game on the line down the stretch. Alaska leads by 11. Abueva for three. The high looper doesn't work. Tenorio looking to tap it to a friend. Dozier ends up with it. Dozier, but that's a good shot. Dozier takes care of the second. Malik sa 12. Ang kailangan bunuin ng Barangay Hinebra. Less than a minute now remaining. Bago natin sa manulet, si Namiko Alili and Coach Ronnie Magsanok. Tenorio di discarde. Hatfield with the pick. Hatfield slides. Tenorio still with the leather. Looking to get it over to his import. Macklin had to come all the way out to receive. Facing up. Macklin in trouble. Pasho picks it up. JV on the move. Looking for the crack in that defense. Look at the touch passing of Alaska. Reverse is good for Sunny. You know, what Dozier is doing is what Macklin should be doing for Barangay Nebra. 
those years giving up the ball, playing unselfish basketball. He's not looking to score, he's looking to... While for Alaska, holding down Hinebra to 38 points, that's a big plus point. Baracayel is fouled by Abueva. Sabi nga natin, no? Wala pa sa penalty ang Alaska. So they've got one more foul to give. Six seconds for Hinebra to try and come up with a shot. You gotta go quick dahil meron pang one foul to give. Tenorio receives. Ontiveros on him. Tenorio looking for the foul. That's a three point. Tenorio when he's looking for the basket and not facilitating. LA takes care of all three. Casho on the run. His Hail Mary. Oh! Jamie Casho!